night hockey on your home for Black Bears Hockey, Fox Sports, 1430 Binghamton. You could save big when you bundle your home and auto with Progressive, but when we just come out and say it, it feels like it falls a bit flat. So instead, we're going to hire a professional voice actor and pay him absurd amounts of money to say, I like this product. Hmm, not sure why that was better. I mean, I'm a professional too, but we didn't pay him to say the business part, so back to me. Save big when you bundle your home and auto with Progressive. Sorry, I know hearing me say it was a bit of a letdown. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Discount not available in all states or situations. You and your phone have been through a lot this past year. It's been your lifeline to the world. And now some big wireless company is telling you you got to buy a new phone from them and sign their contract? They don't control you. With TrackPhone Wireless, you can keep the phone, number, and network you already have. Already got a 5G phone? Keep that too. Because TrackPhone runs on America's best networks now with 5G nationwide. Plus, we've got unlimited talk and text smartphone plans starting at just 20 bucks. TrackPhone Wireless. Now you're in control. 5G nationwide access for Requires a 5G capable device. Actual availability, coverage, and speed may vary. Now back to more of the End Well Rug pregame show on Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. Back inside the Visions Veterans Memorial Arena in Binghamton as we continue the End Well Rug pregame show. As the Black Bears right back at home here tonight. They'll be back home on Thursday against Danbury right here at the arena. 7 p.m. puck drop, career fair night as the Black Bears hosting a career fair right on the concourse from 3 to 5.30. Over 30 businesses will be there looking to hire. So stop by, drop off your resume. When you do that, you'll get a free ticket to Thursday night's game against Danbury. Again, that is at 7 p.m. And then the Black Bears back home on Friday night against Delaware, and it's the Excite Motorsports Koozie Giveaway. The Black Bears Koozies presented by Excite Motorsports to the first 1,500 fans in attendance. And those are the last two home games before the Black Bears just have three home games in the entire month of February. So uh, you're running out of time to see the Black Bears before they head on the road for quite a bit in the month of February. Very important games here to finish out January before, as I said, hitting the road in the month of February. For more information and for tickets, you can head to BinghamtonBlackBears.com. Let's take a look at your scratches and injury update tonight presented by the Court Jester Athletic Club. We'll start with Danbury out of the lineup tonight. Number four defenseman Dimitri Daniluk. Steve Mealy is out. He wears number 11. Someone else will be wearing number 11 tonight. Number 16 forward Michael Lopez. He's played in 17 games. He'll miss tonight. Dustin Jesso is out of the lineup. Corey Anderson is out. He's got 27 points in 25 games. Steve Brown sitting as well along with Eric and Antwell still looking for his first goal on the air, but he does have 14 assists as a defenseman in 23 games. Tal Finberg uh, on the IAR. Tobias Ojik will be out as well. And then wearing number 11 instead of Steve Mealy, it's going to be Joe Naclerio wearing number 11 as he was signed as an emergency player earlier today. For the Binghamton Black Bears out of the lineup, defenseman Anthony Merrigan. Thomas Aldworth uh, injured last night. You remember that hit that he took in the neutral zone, so uh, he will be out of the lineup here tonight. Brandon Contrato is also out. Brett Parker remains injured. MJ Merkel not in the lineup here tonight. And one of the goalies out is Mackenzie Chalmers, who got the start last night. Trevor Mikucci will back up Owen Liskowitz between the pipes here tonight. Again, scratched for Binghamton, Merrigan, Aldworth, Contrato, Parker, Merkel, and Chalmers. That is a look at your scratches and injury update presented by the Court Jester Athletic Club, Binghamton's premier fitness facility. We'll take another break on the Endwell Rug pregame show. We'll have your starting lineup when we come back right after this on your home for Black Bears Hockey, Fox Sports, 1430 Binghamton. At Panera, you can say yes to both of your cravings. We call it You Pick Two. And with over 465 pairings, you'll find a meal sure to satisfy any mood. Are you feeling both fresh and fun? Pick our Fuji apple salad with a new Thai chicken soup. Or maybe you're feeling classic and bold. Pair some creamy mac and cheese with our new citrus Asian crunch salad. Pick your perfect pair and order a You Pick Two today. Panera, the familiar made fantastic. 
Audible makes it easy to do you. Take time out to lose yourself in a sci-fi epic, best-selling thriller, or celebrity memoir. Or dive into an exclusive you can't hear anywhere else. Whatever you're into, you can find the best of it on Audible with originals, audiobooks, and podcasts. There's wellness, true crime, motivation, and powerful new voices to discover. With so many included titles to enjoy, there's always something great to listen to with Audible. Sign up for your free 30-day trial today at audible.com. Now back to more of the End Well Rug pregame show on Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. Back inside the Visions Veterans Memorial Arena in downtown Binghamton. Continuing with a look at the starting lineup presented by Visions Federal Credit Union. And for the Danbury hat tricks on defense. So go with number eight, John McDonald. He's played in 15 games so far this season. He'll be paired up with Garrett Gallagher on defense. Up front, Gordy Bunnell, Johnny Ruiz, and then number 61, Nicola Lavac will make his eighth start of the season. He's got 14 points in seven games. So keep an eye on number 61, Lavac here tonight. And in net for the Dan Barry hat tricks will be number 39, Frankie McClendon. For the Binghamton Black Bears on defense, Tyler Becker back in the lineup. He'll be on defense, paired up with number 27, Kyle Powell, fresh off a five-point night. Up front, Tyler Jurich, Corey Sherman, and then Gavin Yates. And between the pipes for Binghamton, number 72, Owen Liskowitz. That is a look at tonight's start lineup brought to you by Visions Federal Credit Union. Are you a member? Then you get discount Black Bears tickets. Head online to visionsfcu.org slash events. Take a look at the out-of-town scoreboard brought to you by John Paul and State Farm. Two other games in the FPHL at 7.30. Down in Columbus, the River Dragons hosting the Carolina Thunderbirds. And then up in Port Huron, the Delaware Thunder taking on the Port Huron Prowlers. That is at 8 p.m. at McMoran Arena. That is a look at the out-of-town scoreboard presented by John Paul and State Farm. Visit them online at pauleninsurance.com or call 607-798-7191. That's going to do it for tonight's edition of the Endwell Rug pregame show. Endwell Rug, the best floor show in town. Give them a call, 607-748-7366. When we come back, we'll have tonight's EBE CMS Imaging Solutions opening faceoff. Black Bears and Dan Barry hat tricks. Puck drop coming up next on Fox Sports 14. 1930 Binghamton. Tonight's game on Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton and is brought to you in part by John Pollin State Farm Owen and Well Excite Motorsports, Big E Tire, Homer Men and Boys Store, Port Jester Athletic Club, Planet Fitness. Ross Park Zoo, Ideal Bowling Center, EBE CMS, Imaging Solutions, Visions Federal Credit Union, The Learning Ladder, and La Quinta Inn and Suites. Now, it's time to drop the puck. This is Binghamton Black Bears Hockey on Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton, iHeartRadio, and BinghamtonBlackBears.com. and hard-hitting action all season long. It's time for the EBE CMS Imaging Solutions opening face-off. Scores! We go to ringside with a call of the action. From the Planet Fitness broadcast booth, here's Rob Lapolis. Please remain standing for our national anthem tonight performed 
by Mike Gallus. Inside Visions Veterans Memorial Arena set to go here on a Saturday night. The Black Bears in their green jerseys. They will go from right to left on your radio dial and if you're watching on YouTube as well. Green jerseys, black letters trimmed in white. And at the other side of the ice, the Danbury hat tricks, the road whites. Orange and black in there as well. They will go from left to right. Owen Liskowitz has recovered from an injury. Head coach Rod Davidson going to keep an eye on him throughout this contest, see if he stays comfortable throughout the game. And at the other end of the ice, Frankie McClendon looking for win number five on the season. 4-6-0, and oh, two overtime losses, 4.80 goals against average, and a .874 save percentage. For Liskowitz, 4.40 goals against, .894 save percentage, looking for win number five. The puck is down, Danbury wins the opening faceoff, and we are underway here in Binghamton. Tyler Becker in his first game back. He was loaned to Macon in the SPHL early in the season. Stuck the whole time back in the lineup here tonight for Binghamton. He's paired up with Kyle Powell. Opening face-off presented by EBE CMS Imaging Solutions, the official printer provider of the Binghamton Black Bears. Gavin Yates swings in behind the net of Liskowitz. He'll break out, hits his own blue line. Now to center. Over the other blue line. Offensive zone. Shakes left. Shoots. Puck is blocked into the corner. Now Powell. Powell to Sherman. The shot on net. Blocked right in front of the net by Bryce French. And now Tyler Pikarski. Back in the lineup, Kuznetsov brings the puck in, but it's offside, and our first whistle comes a minute, eight seconds into the game. Tyler Pekarski got into that fight at the end of the second period. And he was bloodied, has a full cage on here tonight, and now we'll get a penalty as... It's going to be a trivium packaging penalty kill. Not sure what the call is. 
But it will be Charles Andre Sipion heading to the penalty box. Pass in down low, left wing side. Danbury setting up, 10 seconds gone in the Trivium packaging penalty kill. Think of the Black Bears, Bears minor, too many men. Time of the penalty, 108. Served by number 19, Charles Andre Sipion. It's Reds minor, too many men at 108. Oh, there you have it, too many men on the ice. Puck comes out of the zone. John McDonald goes to the left side. Dumped in by Garrett Gallagher playing in his ninth game of the season. All the way back down the ice to pick up the loose puck, Zachary Lazaro. Lazaro behind the net of Frankie McClendon. 18.06 left to go. First period action, no score from Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. 1.10 remaining in the Trivium packaging penalty kill for Binghamton. Pass out to the right point, Easton Oliver. Oliver, bottom of the right wing, circle below the goal line, intercepted and cleared all the way down the ice. That was a good clear by Binghamton. Eric Oganizov, Tyler Becker. On defense, Colin Fitzgerald killing the penalty as a forward right now. And Gino D'Angelo, the fourth man out there. Cross ice pass intercepted by Tyler Becker. Becker goes up the right boards, held in at the left point by Kuznetsov. Kuznetsov finds Gallagher coming on the ice from the bench. His pass intended for Lavac, and that was blocked into the corner off a skate. Dish to the side of the net. Liskowitz covers the right post and makes the save to get a whistle. No rebound. 20 seconds to go in the too many men on the ice penalty. 17 11 remaining in period one. No score. Tonight's first period brought to you by Cost Cutters. Whatever your style, they've got it. Schedule your appointment today at costcutters.com. Played all the way down the ice. And that has to be covered at the top of the crease. Dangerous play there. Right behind the net. Now on the breakout. John McDonald up the right side for Johnny Ruiz. Tyler Pekarski fanned on the clear, but that actually almost helped as Sherman is able to come all the way back below the goal line. Pass up for Tyler Jurich. Jurich at center. Jurich right side. Uses his body to keep away the defenders and pins the puck up against the boards. Sherman digs for it along the right wing side. Now Jurich. Good pass up top, Pikarski. Back down low to Sherman. Pikarski, side of the net, Jurich. Has the puck along the right wall. Puts the brakes on. Lost an edge. He's pushed down to the ice by Garrett Gallagher. Jurich trying to get up. He's on his backside. Sherman a hit below the goal line on Zachary Lazaro. Penalty is over. Good kill by Danbury and now Levac gets around the defense. Two on one, Levac shooting glove save made by Liskowitz. Held in at the left point by Bryce French. Puck goes straight up in the air, batted out of midair. Great play by Kodiak White Duck, but just sends it over the crossbar. Coming in was Emil Strong. Yeah, what do we have now? Oh my goodness, is that the second too many men on the ice penalty for the Black Bears in the opening five minutes of the game? It is. So that is the second too many men on the ice penalty for Binghamton. And right back to the penalty box is Charles Andre Sipiak to serve it. At 4.36, that's Binghamton. Too many men, 4.36, being served by number 19, Charles Andre Scipio. So second, too many men on the ice penalty for the Black Bears in the opening five minutes of the game. No score, back to the Trivium packaging penalty kill. Offside though, I think Johnny Ruiz was just ahead of the play. And we are exactly five minutes into regulation. 
Minute 37 to go in the Trivium packaging penalty kill. We'll take a timeout. 15 minutes left in period one. No score. Back with more right after this on your home for Black Bears hockey. Fox Sports, 1430 Binghamton. New team, new website. Check out the all-new Binghamton Black Bears website, BinghamtonBlackBears.com. See all of the Black Bears' upcoming promotions, the latest news on your Black Bears. Check out up-to-the-second standings and stats and save money with special offers. You can even listen to every broadcast and see what's been happening on their social media. Be sure to follow the Black Bears on social media as well. Stay up-to-date with everything Black Bears at www.BinghamtonBlackBears.com. Fifteen minutes to go, first period. Face off coming up in the neutral zone, a minute thirty seven to go in the Black Bears penalty. All penalties for the Black Bears. Penalty kills, I should say, brought to you by Trivium Packaging. They are hiring. Visit them online and apply online at TriviumPackaging.com. Offensive zone faceoff. Gavin Abbott will take it. Colin Fitzgerald lining up to his right. Again, as a forward. Abbott. Backhand of the puck, turned it over. And now Levac out through center into the offensive zone. Caught up to him by Colin Fitzgerald. And he was tripped up on the play. Is that the call? They're going to call a hook. And this will even things up. With a minute 12 left to go in the four-on-four four hockey. And Levac will head off. Black Bears back home. Thursday against Danbury and Friday against Delaware. Thursday, get a free ticket by attending the career fair from 3 to 5.30. And then Friday is a koozie giveaway courtesy of Excite Motorsports. Get your tickets at BinghamtonBlackBears.com slash tickets. Nikita Ivashkin. Two minutes for hooking, time of the penalty, 525. Lebec, two minutes for hooking, time of the penalty, 525. Left point, Ogan Azov, shot, snared out of the air with a glove by Frankie McClendon. And a whistle, 47 seconds to go in four on four hockey. And then the Black Bears will have a little bit under a minute. About a 50 second power play. Offensive zone face off, left wing circle, 14 11 remaining period one, still no score, live in Binghamton. Powell, Newberg left circle, whizzes one past the post. Up to the right point for Powell, deflected off the glass, and then the puck skips out to the left side of the crease, and it's covered by McClendon with 13.58 left to go in period one. So again, the Black Bears just two more games in January at home, and then it's right back February Three home games in the entire month of February. Tyler Pekarski sneaks in, and the puck is cleared all the way back in the Black Bears defensive zone. Josh Newberg picks it up. Backhander to Pekarski. Behind Ivashkin. Ten seconds to go until the Black Bears have a power play. 13.27 to go on the first. Now below the goal line, up the left wing side for Kyle Powell. Powell, top of the crease. Drops the puck back. It's time for a Big E tire power play. Nobody beats their prices. Nobody. Short-handed chance. Johnny Ruiz, right circle. Shoulder save by Owen Liskowitz with 13 minutes to go in the first. Short-handed chance stop. By Liskowitz. Puck is cleared all the way down the ice. 
Black Bears have to regroup. 10 seconds to go in the Big E Tire power play. Offensive zone, Sherman, Jurich, D'Angelo deflects the puck high. Power play is over. Emil Strom to Tyler Jurich. Jurich, right side to Gavin Yates. Yates shoots, blocked by Johnny Ruiz in front of the net. Knocked out of midair by Gordy Bennell and cleared down the ice. Not enough for an icing. Gavin Yates has to pick up the puck, finds Powell, feathers ahead for Nikita Ivashkin. Ivashkin fighting through the pressure. Gino D'Angelo just spins and plays the puck behind the net. Black Bears will change. Newberg, Fitzgerald, Vanderweel all come on. Ivashkin already out there along with Eric Oganizov. Bryce French behind the net. French up the left wing side. Right back to French. Up the right wall, Kuznetsov. One touch pass to Brett Jackson. Jackson drops it. Snapshot on net by Joe Naclerio. That went high. Kept in at the left point by Bryce French. 11.20 to go, period one. No score in Binghamton. Down the right side, Colin Fitzgerald into the offensive zone. Battles with Easton Oliver. Taking the puck away is Brett Jackson. Now Ivashkin, good cut. Left wing circle. Ivashkin, and he scores! Nikita Ivashkin took on about four guys and gets the puck into the net. Unassisted, time of the goal, 8.58. Gavin Abbott, Rister just wide. Now played in wide of the net, scooped up just outside the trapezoid. Right point, shot, and it's held onto by Frankie McClendon, and he hangs on. 10 minutes and 30 seconds left to go in the first. One shot and that glove down. The puck is dropped to the right side of the net. That draw an ooh and an ah from the crowd here in Binghamton. So Ivashkin gets the scoring going. Stopped by Owen Liskowitz. Tyler Pikarski up to Jurich on the right side. Jurich puts on the brakes, had his pocket picked from behind momentarily, tries to get the puck back, cannot. Gordy Bennell to the right point. Easton Oliver. Oliver, give and go, gets it back, keeps the puck on the ice. Stick save made by Liskowitz. Sherman to Jurich. Over the center ice line, Jurich elevates the puck and one hops off the boards. Picked up by Easton Oliver. He's hit hard by Sherman. Turnaround chance by Gavin Yates. Sends the puck wide of the net. Johnny Ruiz, left side, looking for the breakaway feed for the back. Intercepted by Josh Newberg at the Zamboni corner. Newberg behind the net. Hard pass for Emil Strom. Strom offside. Good call by the linesman. Powell could not keep his skate on the blue line. He initially waved it onside, but made the right call off. 
left side. We'll take a break. Nikita Ivashkin has given the Black Bears a 1-0 lead. We are back to Binghamton right after this on your home for Black Bears hockey. Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. The Just for Pros event is back at Lowe's. We're celebrating hardworking pros with special savings in the top tours, plus bonus perks to help you with your business. Sign up for Lowe's Pro Loyalty now through January 28th, and you'll get up to $100 off your TurboTax federal tax preparation. Just another way Lowe's makes your job easier. Lowe's, the home for pros. Discount valid on select TurboTax services through 41522. More terms apply. U.S. only. Now back to more Black Bears hockey on Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. Back inside Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. Ideal Bowling Center is where Binghamton hockey fans bowl with open bowling all week long, along with money saving specials. Ideal is a great place for family, friends, company parties, and special occasions. Ideal Bowling Center, 119 Jennings Street, Endicott. So much more than just your favorite bowling alley. Just over midway through period number one, the Black Bears with a 1 0 lead. Nikita Ivashkin. Big goal for him. Goal number 35. As we'll have an icing on the play. Face off will be all the way back in the Black Bears defensive zone. Takes it. Looks like Newberg is coming on. He'll take the draw for the Black Bears. Brett Jackson. Newberg wins the faceoff against Jackson. And then the puck rolls over the stick of Jackson. Ivashkin kicks it ahead through center. Nikita Ivashkin. Puck right off his skate. And a good stick by Newberg. Knocks the puck down the ice, but that eliminates an icing. Powell feeds the puck back for Tyler Becker. Newberg to Emil Strong. Heavy pressure on the forecheck by Danbury right now. Newberg though finds Becker. Tyler Becker. Right side, bomb by Ivashkin and a nice glove save by Frankie McClendon with eight minutes left to go in period number one. Good move cutting into the zone. And a good feed over to Ivashkin. Blasting the shot on that. So Ivashkin now has 35 goals. That leads the entire league. Closest guy behind him, Justin McDonald from Watertown. Long wrister, missed the net. 7.48 left to go. And that brings Ivashkin to 58 points, one behind McDonald in total points in the FPHL. McDonald with 30 assists. Gavin Abbott onside, Abbott. Ooh, he had Vanderweel open inside the right wing circle. And Gavin Abbott takes down his man. That was Garrett Gallagher shot to stick saved by Liskowitz. Thought there might have been a penalty on that play, but they let it go. Colin Fitzgerald over the blue line, left circle. Fitzgerald looking for something in behind the net. Finds Gavin Yates through the legs of Yates. Gavin Abbott shot, stick save made by Frankie McClendon. Abbott gets the puck back. He's hit by Johnny Ruiz. And now Levac to the left wing side. Gordy Bennell. Bennell over the blue line. Back to Levac. Snap shot blocked by Eric Oganazov. Picked off by Bryce French for Dan Barry. Now Johnny Ruiz over the blue line. Ruiz got two Black Bears to bite. He then slid the puck to Nicola Levac, I should say. Wraparound chance. Right leg pad save made by Leskowitz. Dumped in front of the net was Gordy Bennell. He made a 
his way to the front of the net. And when you go to the front of the net, there's always that risk of taking a big hit. He did pop right back up, though. Now played back. Face-off win by the hat tricks. Tyler Pekarski. Pekarski to center. Over the blue line. Banks the puck off the end kick plate. Fired up the left wing side. Intercepted by Joe Naclerio. Ooh, big collision as who was that spilling down for the Black Bears. Tripping the call as Gavin Yates was tripped up. Brett Jackson will head to the penalty box with six minutes to go in the first, and it's another Biggie Tire power play for the Black Bears. Don't forget, next Friday, the Black Bears giving out free koozies, courtesy of Excite Motorsports. So get here when the doors open at 6 next Friday. Koozie giveaway presented by Excite Motorsports. Kyle Powell, right side for Gavin Yates. Down low to Gino D'Angelo. Back to Yates. Shoots deflected up and into the netting by John McDonald. And a good stick on the penalty kill by McDonald inside that defensive zone left wing circle. D'Angelo, Yates, Strom, Powell, and Jurich on the power play. Center point, Powell, left side, Jurich. Jurich to Powell. Powell holds, left side, Jurich. Lost the puck, got it right back. Center point, Powell, right side, Yates. Below the goal line, D'Angelo to Strom. Puck is banked and cleared all the way down. Minute 15 to go in the Big E tire power play. 5-10 left to go in the first. Binghamton a 1-0 lead. Sent the length of the ice, Owen Liskowitz. Now Gavin Yates. Yates behind the net of Liskowitz. Up the left wing side to center ice. Yates looks forced in below the goal line. Off the right wing side. Backhanded up top by Strom. Now Jurich left wall. Chest saved by McClendon with 441 left to go in period one. We will take a time out. 4.41 left to go in period one. The Black Bears, a one nothing lead back to Binghamton right after this on your home for Black Bears hockey. Fox Sports, 14.30, Binghamton. Join thousands of Binghamton hockey fans and give us a follow on social media. Like our Facebook page, facebook.com slash blackbearsfphl. And give us a follow on Twitter and Instagram at blackbearsfphl. Get up to the second team news information, participate in contests, and get live game updates at home or on the road. Get interactive and say hello. Hit that follow button and give the new team some love. That's at Black Bears FPHL on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Now back to more Black Bears hockey on Fox Sports 1430, Binghamton. 4.41 left to go in the first. Nikita Ivashkin has given the Black Bears a 1-0 lead, his 35th goal of the season. Puck is lifted all the way down the ice. And when Liskowitz comes to play it, finds Kyle Powell. Powell cross ice. One touch pass by Vanderweel for Ivashkin. And the pass is behind Powell. Newberg had to get rid of it quickly. Newberg back to Powell. All the way up the right wing side. Powell left wall. Cross ice. Puck hops over the stick of Bryce French. And clear. Liskowitz thought about coming to play it. Newberg's got to hustle back. Newberg. Top of the crease. And Liskowitz jumps on top of it for the whistle. With 
with three minutes and 48 seconds left to go in the opening frame. Hey, college students, every Saturday home game like tonight, you get $10 tickets. And then take that ticket over to Dillinger's after the game for a buy one, get one free drink. That's college students, $10 tickets every Saturday home game, and then a buy one, get one over at Dillinger's after the game. Visit BinghamtonBlackBears.com. Gavin Yates pushed out of the ice, wanted a call, not going to get one. Now Tyler Jurich. Jurich right in front of the Black Bears bench. We check that Tanberry bench. Jurich one hand on his stick, trying to move that puck forward. Kuznetsov through center. Three on two. Ivashkin trying to hustle back defensively. He does so, forces a pass in down low. Three minutes left in period one. Still a one nothing lead for Binghamton. Up for Ivashkin. Ivashkin to Jurich. Jurich, Ivashkin, wrap around. He'll pass instead, intercepted by Zachary Lazaro. Lazaro, good stick by Colin Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald forcing his way into the offensive zone. Emil Strom covering for him. Now those two will switch as Fitzgerald is back to play defensively. Shots even at seven. One nothing lead. The Black Bears. Fitzgerald off the left wing wall. Puck now behind the net. Pushed up the left boards by John McDonald. To the top of the left wing circle, Kodiak White Duck. Long shot by Newberg from the right point. Blocker pad saved by Frankie McClendon. Two minutes left to go in the first. Binghamton still a one nothing lead. Kodiak White Duck, top of the left wing circle. Lost the puck, it rolls into the corner down the right wall. And now Strom finds Eric Oganezov. Oganezov, long shot, kept it on the ice. And McClendon had just a little bit of trouble with it, but kept it out. That's all that matters. With 140 left to go in period one. Vanderweel will take the face off. Gavin Abbott to the right side. Gino D'Angelo to the left side. Levac leans forward. Tyler Becker is back. Becker staying on him. Lays his shoulder into Levac. Now Vanderweel below the goal line. Stick got caught between his legs. He goes down to the ice, gets right back up. Becker, one hand on his stick, pushes the puck up the left wall. Vanderweel lost it to Johnny Ruiz. Good stick by Kyle Powell. And the Black Bears cannot get the puck out. Kept in, left side, shot, stick save, they score. The original save made by Leskowitz, but Levac right there to put it home. His eighth of the season ties the game at one with one minute left to go in period one. Black Bears just couldn't get that puck out of the zone. And Lamac was waiting right there. Side of the net, taps it in. Under a minute to go in period one. Stay with us for the Excite Motorsports first period intermission show. We'll have full stat recap. Take a look at the out-of-town scoreboard. We'll look at some NFL playoff games, NHL scores, and we'll have the highlights. Assisted by number 19, Johnny Ruiz, and by number 17, Bryce French. Time of the goal, 19 minutes. The back from Ruiz and French. Time of the goal, 19 minutes. Inside the neutral zone, puck comes free, that's onside. Even though Sherman was already in the zone, that went off a hat trick player. Gavin Yates, under 20 seconds to go in the first. Can the Black Bears get something late? Bad pass.
Bass. That keeps the puck in, and Yates is hooked down to the ice, and the Black Bears are going to get a power play with 8.5 seconds to go in the first. Well, a bad turnover by Danbury on the left wing wall. All they had to do was get the puck out of the zone. That would have done it for the period. Instead, that Danbury cannot get that puck out. It's kept in by Yates, and that draws a hooking penalty. Five seconds to go in period number one, and Danbury will just kill that off. And the Black Bears will have a minute 52 of a big E tire power play when we start the second frame. So Binghamton right now had a 1-0 lead in period one. Danbury comes back to tie it late in the first. And after 20 minutes of play, it's the Binghamton Black Bears one and the Danbury hat tricks one. Shots are even at nine. Very evenly played first period of action. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll kick off tonight's Excite Motorsports first period intermission show. Binghamton, Danbury tied up at one after one. Intermission show coming up right after this on your home for Black Bears Hockey, Fox Sports, 1430 Binghamton. Check out a Binghamton Black Bears game like you've never seen before with a Skybox night or group night. You can even watch warm-ups from the Black Bears bench with your friends, high-five the players as they take the ice, and so much more. Or watch the game in style in a Skybox and check out a new and improved food and drink menu. Call the Black Bears at 607-722-7367 and begin your group or Skybox experience. Right side, bomb by Boshkin. Exclusive offers and stay up to date on upcoming games by signing up to join the Binghamton Black Bears email club. Just head to BinghamtonBlackBears.com and sign up today. You'll receive team-related news delivered right to your inbox. Keep an eye out for special exclusive offers only available to email club members. It's the Binghamton Black Bears email club. Sign up and start saving money today. New hockey team in town means all new gear. Dress like the Black Bears and go online to blackbearshop.com. The all new blackbearshop.com has t-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, jerseys, and so much more. Do you want a custom jersey with your name and number? We can do that too. Stop by the merchandise stand at all Black Bears home games or even come by the front office during office hours. Show your Binghamton hockey pride by visiting blackbearshop.com. Trivium Packaging, a global leader in sustainable metal packaging with more than 60 locations worldwide, has immediate openings at its Conta New York facility. Trivium serves a diverse range of customers and is an essential part of the U.S. food supply chain. Trivium Packaging offers excellent compensation and benefits like these. Apply anytime at TriviumPackaging.com slash careers or scan the QR code on the screen. Trivium Packaging currently has openings for tool and die technician, mechanical technician, quality technician, and shipping and receipt technician. Period is in the books. It's time for the Excite Motorsports Intermission Report. A recap of the first period, interviews, highlights, out-of-town scores, and more. Back up to the Planet Fitness broadcast booth for the Excite Motorsports Intermission Report. Here's Rob Lapolis. Welcome back inside the Visions Veterans Memorial Arena after 20 minutes of play. It's the Binghamton Black Bears 1 and the Dan Barry Hat Tricks. One. Hey, don't forget, if you are in youth hockey in the Southern Tier, you get a free season ticket. Yep, that's a free season ticket every Black Bears home game this season for Southern Tier Hockey Association. That's the STHA, the Ice House Hawks, and the Binghamton Blizzard. And all family members get an $8 discount ticket with them. Enjoy your free season ticket, all youth hockey in the Southern Tier. Tier. And don't forget, when the Black Bears win at home, be sure to get your coupon on your way out for a free drink at Red Jug Pub just across the river. Free drink when the Black Bears win at home, courtesy of Red Jug Pub. First period stat recap from the opening 20. The Black Bears 
took a 1-0 lead. Nikita Ivashkin, his league leading 35th goal of the season. And that came 8.58 into the game. Right now, they're saying unassisted on the play. He moved into the offensive zone and went, probably tried to take on about four players from Danbury. Somehow got through and somehow slipped that puck into the net. That gave Binghamton the one nothing lead. Then at 19 minutes with exactly a minute to go, Nicola Levac from Johnny Ruiz and Bryce French tied the game at one. And that's where we are right now. Shots even at nine apiece in that first period. So 18 total shots. And uh, that uh, nine shots for each side, not a lot from what we have seen throughout this season. Also one goal apiece. That is also not a lot compared to uh, the amount of goals we have seen throughout this season. Got things going. Penalty-wise, too many men on the ice. Just a minute, eight seconds into the game. That was served by Charles Andre Sipiot. 13 minutes to go in, or with 108 into the game, I should say. That was a too many men on the ice bench minor. He gets out of the box, and then at 436, Charles Andre Sipiot had to go back to the penalty box to serve it. It was another bench minor. So the Black Bears had two too many men on the ice penalties in the first five minutes of the game. Able to kill them both off. And then Danbury would take the next three penalties. Levac at 525. Brett Jackson at 14 minutes for tripping. And then Joe Naclerio with nine seconds to go in period one. A hooking penalty that could have easily been avoided as the Danbury winger on the left wing side pass to try to get the puck out of the zone sent it right to Gavin Yates Yates intercepted it moved back into the offensive zone he was tripped up and the Black Bears will have a minute 52 of a power play presented by Big E Tire when we drop the puck on period number two with that, we'll take our first time out on the Excite Motorsports first period intermission show. When we come back, though, we will have your highlights brought to you by the Binghamton Hockey Booster Club. We're back to Binghamton right after this on your home for Black Bears Hockey, Fox Sports, 1430 Binghamton. When a hockey team ends up with six skaters and a goalie on the ice, it means somebody forgot to double check. And when you end up paying more for car insurance than you need to, it could also mean somebody forgot to double check. That's why State Farm will do a free discount double check by going through your policies to make sure you're getting all the discounts you deserve. Because those discounts could mean big league savings. It pays to double check. Call State Farm agent John Paulin in Johnson City today at 607-798-7191. Since 1939, Inwell Rug has been family-owned and operated with one goal in mind, complete customer satisfaction. Inwell Rug offers a full spectrum of the finest quality floor covering products, and they are the premier installer at Binghamton University. Inwell Rug was voted the Reader's Choice Award winner for Best Flooring Store in 2019 and in 2020. With two locations in Inwell and Oninata, they're the best floor show in town. Inwell Rug at 607-748-7366. The Homer Men and Boys Store, a family-owned business providing clothing and footwear for the entire family since 1951. Located just 40 minutes north on Route 81 in the beautiful village of Homer. The Homer Men and Boys Store carries a huge inventory of name brand products at discounted prices like Carhartt, Red Wing, Carolina, Levi's, Columbia, North Face, Timberland, and many more. We carry all sizes from size 3 months up to 5X. We treat our customers like members of our family. If we don't have it, you don't need it. The Homer Men and Boys Store, located 40 miles north on Route 81. Take exit 12 and follow the signs to Homer or see us on the web at homermensandboys.com. Ideal Bowling Center, located at 119 Jennings Street in Endicott, has 38 amazing lanes of bowling, large video screens, and automatic scoring. But that's not all. Ideal Bowling Center has a newly remodeled bar with six televisions, billiards, darts, and quick draw to entertain you. Don't forget about Ideal Bowling Center's snack counter for your appetite and a pro shop for all your bowling needs. Ideal Bowling Center, 119 Jennings Street in Endicott. Or call 607-748-3546. Now back to more of the Excite Motorsports Intermission Show on Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. 
Back inside Visions Veterans Memorial Arena, about nine minutes until we drop the puck on period number two. Time for the highlights brought to you by the Binghamton Hockey Booster Club. Not a lot of highlights in that opening 20 minutes of play, but Nikita Ivashkin, his league-leading 35th goal of the season, opened the scoring for the Black Bears. Colin Fitzgerald into the offensive zone, battles with Easton Oliver, taking the puck away is Brett Jackson. Now Ivashkin, good cut. Left wing circle. Ivashkin, and he scores! Nikita Ivashkin took on about four guys and gets the puck into the net. one nothing Black Bears with 11-0-2 left to go in period number one. Ivashkin is season. So that goal, 8.58 into regulation. Ivashkin, as we said, league leading 35th goal of the season to give the Black Bears a 1-0 lead. We continue on in period number one. Ivashkin would have a great chance at his second of the night. Instead, though, in net, it was Frankie McClendon flashing the glove. Heavy pressure on the forecheck by Danbury right now. Newberg, though, finds Becker. Tyler Becker, right side, bomb by Ivashkin, and a nice glove save by Frankie McClendon with eight minutes left to go in period number one. So the Black Bears, Ivashkin almost making it two to nothing, but a great glove save by Frankie McClendon. Then we fast forward just a minute to go in period number one, Nikola Lavac tying the game at one. Good stick by Kyle Powell, and the Black Bears cannot get the puck out. Kept in, left side, shot, stick save, they score. The original save made by Leskowitz, but Levac right there to put it home. His eighth of the season ties the game at one with one minute left to go in period one. So that goal assisted by Johnny Ruiz and Bryce French at exactly 19 minutes of the first period has this game tied at one. One. The highlights are presented by the Binghamton Hockey Booster Club. Visit the Booster Club behind Section 4 at the next Black Bears home game. We'll take a break on the Excite Motorsports first period intermission show. When we come back, we'll have a look at the John Paul in State Farm out of town scoreboard on your home for Black Bears hockey. Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. Hi folks, Erwin Coe Sr. here from Big E Tire. It's our buy three, get one absolutely free sale. Oh, I know what you're saying. Wow, another tire sale. No, there's more. Listen, now when you buy three tires from Big E, you will get one tire absolutely free with free mounting, free lifetime balancing, free rotations, free 90-day road hazard warranty, free alignment check, free 30-day ride guarantee, yeah, it's good, because the other guys charge you for everything. At Big E, everything is free. Interest-free financing for up to 12 months and the fastest air-free alignments in the Northeast. So call for details or just stop in. And thanks for the business. For cars and trucks and tractors too, everything's right, so right for you. Best all around are Big E Tire and Auto Centers. Big E Tire. The Binghamton Black Bears are hitting the ice this season at Visions Federal Credit Union, Veterans Memorial Arena, and we want you to see all the hard-hitting action of Black Bears hockey all season long. That's why Visions members can get discounted tickets to every home game this season. It's one of the many reasons to join the Visions family today. To get your member discount and see the Black Bears in action, visit visionsfcu.org slash events. Visions Federal Credit Union, federally insured by NCUA. 
The Ross Park Zoo sits tucked into the northern face of Binghamton South Mountain. The zoo officially opened in 1875 and is the fifth oldest zoo in the country. Come view over 100 different species. Are you planning your next event? Train rides, the children's zoo, Ross Park Carousel, Snack Shack, Gift Shop, and Special Education Stations are just some of the reasons why Ross Park Zoo should be your next event. You can even set up wild encounters. Give Ross Park Zoo a call at 607-724-5461 or online at rossparkzoo.org. Now back to more of the Excite Motorsports Intermission Show on Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. Back inside the Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. Time to take a look at the out-of-town scoreboard brought to you by John Paul and State Farm. 12-32 into period number one down at the Civic Center in Columbus, Georgia. It's the River Dragons one and the Carolina Thunderbirds one. Elsewhere, getting underway in about eight minutes at McMoran Arena in Port Huron, Michigan. It's the Prowlers hosting the Delaware Thunder. That is everything in the FPHL and the NHL. The Colorado Avalanche have a one nothing lead. We had 213 left to go in period one over the Montreal Canadiens. Colorado, 20 shots on net in that first period with 213 to go. The Hurricanes and New Jersey Devils tied at two after one. Svechnikov and Cole for Carolina. Nathan Bastion has both goals for the Devils, even at one after 20. Arizona Coyotes have a 2-1 lead at Madison Square Garden. And Andrew Ladd. The go-ahead goal is six of the season, 6.56 into the game. Jacob Truba has the only goal for the Rangers. The Rangers being outshot by the Coyotes, 16-4 to four after one. Ottawa Senators, one goal on just three shots, lead the Washington Capitals, one to nothing after one period of play. Thomas Shabbat, his second of the season early in regulation. Toronto Maple Leafs, a 2-1 lead against the New York Islanders. Red Wings and Predators coming up at 8.30. Blackhawks at Wild at 9 at 10. Calgary is visiting Edmonton. Tampa Bay is in San Jose earlier today. The Sabres defeated the Flyers 6-3 and Bruins over the Jets 3-2. That is a look at the out-of-town scoreboard brought to you by John Paul in State Farm. We'll take a timeout. That concludes the intermission show. When we return, we'll drop the puck on period number two, tied at one on your home for Black Bears Hockey. Fox Sports, 1430 Binghamton. Ideal Bowling Center, located at 119 Jennings Street in Endicott, has 38 amazing lanes of bowling, large video screens, and automatic scoring. But that's not all. Ideal Bowling Center has a newly remodeled bar with six televisions, billiards, darts, and quick draw to entertain you. Don't forget about Ideal Bowling Center's snack counter for your appetite and a pro shop for all your bowling needs. Ideal Bowling Center, 119 Jennings Street in Endicott, or call 607-748-3546. Trivium Packaging, a global leader in sustainable metal packaging with more than 60 locations worldwide, has immediate openings at its Conklin, New York facility. Trivium serves a diverse range of customers and is an essential part of the U.S. food supply chain. Trivium Packaging offers excellent compensation and benefits like these. Apply anytime at TriviumPackaging.com slash careers or scan the QR code on the screen. Trivium Packaging currently has openings for tool and die technician, mechanical technician, quality technician, and shipping and receiving technician. EBE CMS Imaging Solutions is the official printer provider of the Binghamton Black Bears. For over 40 years, they've been serving businesses around the southern tier. Locally owned and operated, EBE CMS Imaging Solutions has a full line of authorized Canon, Sharp, and Kyocera products. With multi-function printers, copiers, and fax machines, they'll help you determine which product is best for your needs, and their staff provides fast and efficient service. EBE CMS Imaging Solutions, 607-723-0000. Getting your hands on an all-new CF Moto side-by-side or four-wheeler is now easier than ever at ExciteMotorsports.com. Purchase your next power sports vehicle with our new, easy, and quick online buying experience. Browse inventory on ExciteMotorsports.com. Buy. Get approved for financing and e-sign online right from your phone. Ride. Have your new power sports vehicle delivered to your home the next day at no extra charge. Browse. Buy. Ride. Fun starts here at Excite Motor. Motorsports.com. Now back to more Black Bears hockey on Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. 
Back inside Visions Veterans Memorial Arena, set to go, period two. Black Bears in their green jerseys. They will go from left to right. Dan Barry in their road whites. They will go right to left. The puck is down, and period number two is underway. Minute 45 to go in the Big E tire power play. 1950 left in the second. Johnny Ruiz, left side, save made by Liskowitz. Big save on Gordy Bennell, who is looking for his 13th of the season. Great play by Ruiz just inside the blue line. He knocked the puck to his left, and that set up Bennell. Now on the breakout, Gavin Yates on side. Yates hammered down to the ice. They're going to call a penalty. Oh, boy. That is a tough one if you're a Danbury fan, I think. I thought that did not look like interference, but the Black Bears will take it. And it's a big E-tire power play as Garrett Gallagher heads to the box. It's a five on three for a minute 22. Well, Yates try to get by Garrett Gallagher, and Gallagher put him down to the ice. Interference the call. Interference, time of the penalty, 30 seconds. Gallagher, two minutes for interference, time of the penalty, 30 seconds. Bottom of the right wing circle. Powell, top of the right dot, back for Gavin Yates. Yates right back up top to Powell. Powell to Jurich, left side. Jurich, bottom of the left circle, looking for the top of the crease. Emil Strom, he had Gavin Yates open on the other side of the crease, couldn't connect, and now Binghamton's Jurich regrouping through center. Into the offensive zone, Jurich save with the pads. The pass by Gavin Yates. A little bit, or check that by Emil Strom, a little bit behind Gino D'Angelo. D'Angelo, offensive zone, Strom. D'Angelo, right under his stick. Puck comes up to Jurich at the left point. Now to Emil Strom. Strom protects the puck, drops it to Powell, over to Jurich, and a save by McClendon with 18.23 left to go in the second. 15 seconds left to go. In the penalty to Joe Naclerio. That was the infraction at the end of period one. Face off in the offensive zone. Matthew Boilar comes off the ice. Newberg kicked out of the faceoff dot. Now Sherman wins it back to Jurich. Down to Sherman. Powell. Powell looking for Corey Sherman on the side of the crease. Lovac intercepts, and he will send the puck down the ice. First penalty is over. 36 seconds now of a five-on-four Big E tire power play for Binghamton. Tied at one early in the second. Ivashkin, top of the right wing circle, holds, top of the left dot now. Jurich fakes, then snaps it, and a shoulder save. Puck goes out of play with 17.50 to go in the second, and 21 seconds to go in the Big E tire power play. Pushed down to the ice was Ivashkin. Kept in Newberg up top to Powell. Powell's shot misses the net. Jurich back for Ivashkin. Ivashkin up front for Sherman. Just wide. Now Powell. Powell to the net. Blocked before it got there by Easton Oliver and then gloved down. Reaching back behind him on the left side of the net was McClendon. 17-23 left to go in the second. And both penalties have now concluded back to even strength. And the game tied at one. 
shots even at 11. Face off in the offensive zone. Right wing circle. Charles Andre Sipiot back in the lineup. One back. Up to Pikarski. And now Gino D'Angelo. D'Angelo battling. And out of the left side. Back across the ice. Deflected, though, by Vanderweel. Right at the center ice line, the two teams battle for possession. Liskowitz out of the net. 16.49 left to go. Second period tied at one. Knocked down by... Charles Andre Sipiot. He chases after the loose puck in the corner. Along with Vanderweel. Sipiot looking for Vanderweel below the goal line. Easton Oliver spins away from the pressure, sends the puck up the right wing side, and Kuznetsov moves in. His line mate was changing, though. He didn't realize that until he had passed in the puck. Charles Andre Sipiot, right side for Gino D'Angelo. Back to Sipiot, deflects into the corner. Another shot from the right point. Eric Oganezov kicks it in. Now Josh Newberg backhands the puck. A battle for it below the goal line. Tapped ahead onto the stick of Kodiak White Duck. White Duck banks the puck off the glass. Gets to it first. Backhands through the top of the crease. No one was there. And the puck comes all the way out of the zone. Garrett Gallagher over the red line. Dumps it in. Dan Barry coming to the bench for a line change. Emil Strom will backhand the puck up. Elevates it wide to the net. Skips off the end boards. A big hit below the goal line. Josh Newberg into the skates of Ivashkin. Puck lands onto the blade of Gordy Bennell. Bennell ahead for Levac. Levac holds, looks, top of the crease. Puck still there. The Black Bears can't clear it away, and then Liskowitz needs to make a second save on that. Holding by Eric Oganizov. You could hear the Danbury bench screaming for a penalty. Shot tipped in. Taking a 2-1 lead on the road with 14.46 left to go in the second period. <laughs> Leading the line, Gordy Bennell, 13th of the season. Just a backhand. It got deflected, went below the goal line, and then it was played up to Bennell, who puts it in. And a 2-1 lead. 40 Bennell, assisted by number 19, Johnny Ruiz. Time of the goal, 5-14. Bennell for Ruiz. Time of the goal, 5-14. Tyler Becker's shot. Stick save made by Frankie McClendon. So the Black Bears scored first to take a 1-0 lead. Then Danbury scores with a minute to go in the first, and they've scored moments ago early in the second. Corey Sherman fights through center ice down the right wing side. Top of the left wing circle. Now right boards to Becker. Becker hits Gavin Yates. Yates keeps the puck inside the zone. Gloved down by Powell. Back to Yates. Jurich. Jurich. Hit by Sherman. Becker steps up at the right point. And now Yates slashes the stick out of the hand of Kuznetsov, and he'll go to the penalty box. With 13.35 left to go in the second period. The Black Bears trailing 2-1. to one. We'll step aside. 13.35 left in the second. 2-1 lead for Danbury. Back right after this on your home for Black Bears hockey. Fox Sports 14.30 Binghamton.
Hard-hitting action of Black Bears hockey returns home this Thursday against Danbury and Friday against Delaware. Thursday is the Black Bears career fair from 3 to 5.30 at Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. Snacks included and over 30 businesses. And you get a free ticket when you submit your resume. Then Friday, the Black Bears battle the Delaware Thunder. Two home games next Thursday and Friday. Get your tickets at BinghamtonBlackBears.com. Now back to more Black Bears hockey on Fox Sports 1430, Binghamton. 13.35 left to go in the second. Danbury a 2-1 lead in Binghamton. Face off in the Black Bears defensive zone. Left wing circle. Up to the left point, now to the right side. Left side again. So it's a trivium packaging penalty kill. Left circle, Ruiz. Shot missed the net. Top of the left wing circle. Gavin Yates to center ice. Check that. Abbott. Fired in by Matthew Bala. 13.03 left to go, period two. A minute 27 left in a trivium packaging penalty kill. Bottom of the right wing circle, Levac. Levac, right wall. Cleared up, and that hits the face. I'm going to see who that was. They're up against the near boards right now. Trainer has come onto the ice. They are right in front of the bench. 12.42 to go in the second. I want to say that might have been Gordy Bunnell, guy who scored the goal, and it is. Seems to be okay. He'll stay on the bench. So most likely no blood out there, but. Oh, he's a scary play, innocent, as Pekarski was trying to clear. Gordy Bunnell just was right in front of him. So Trivium packaging penalty kill, 12 minutes, 33 seconds left to go. Black Bears back in the defensive zone. Puck up the left wall. Newberg gets it around the defense. Inside the right wing circle, Newberg goes down to the ice. 12.05 left to go, second period. Two to one, Danbury here in Binghamton. 25 to go. Before the penalty comes to an end. Kuznetsov, bottom of the left wing circle. Liskowitz goes post to post, working the puck up top. Gino D'Angelo, D'Angelo, speed, shorthanded, gets a second chance, punched away. Puck still free, comes up to Becker. Becker keeps it inside the zone. The penalty comes to an end. 11-27 left to go, second period. Turnover, Colin Fitzgerald to Nikita Ivashkin. Ivashkin now to the bench for a line change. Jurich and Sherman coming on, three on two though. Levac, backhand, he wanted Kuznetsov in front of the net. Missed below the goal line, then Johnny Ruiz had an attempt. Gavin Yates can't get the puck out. Kept in, shot wide in the net. 10.53 to go, second period, two to one Danbury. Tyler Becker over the blue line into the offensive zone, dodges a hip check, has it, looks for Gavin Yates inside the left wing circle, pass a little too hard, goes under his stick. 10.37 to go now in period two. Backhand Sherman, Yates wanted Jurich, poked away from him, Levac through center, and now Danbury right back into the offensive zone. Levac, a quick snapshot, shoulder saved by Liskowitz. And lifted up. 
Glove down by Yates. He'll draw a penalty. He's got two sticks on him. One of them was used to hook him. And it'll be a big entire power play with 10-17 left to go. off in the offensive zone. Powell, right point. Two minutes for tripping, top of the penalty, 9.43. Gallagher, two minutes for tripping, top of the penalty, 9.43. Gavin Yates, bottom of the right circle, give and go. D'Angelo Yates had an opening over the left shoulder, just missed. Jurich couldn't keep it in. Nine minutes, 54 seconds left to go. Defensive zone, Powell. Powell cross ice, right wall. Emil Strom trying to get to that puck and keep it in. Gino D'Angelo hit up against the wall. Now Gavin Yates, Powell, right point. Hustles over, saves the day, keeps the puck in. Yates to Jurich, Jurich up top for Powell. Powell inside the right wing circle, Yates. Yates holds, looks, right side, Strom. Strom works his way behind the net, saucer to the left side for Jurich. Center point, Powell shoots, low shot, left leg pad save, McClendon. Yates to D'Angelo, back to Yates. D'Angelo to the net, pass just out of his reach. Jurich, one hand on his stick, keeps the puck in. The clear is knocked down by Powell. The shot tipped and a big save by McClendon. Powell again, side of the net. Jurich trying to go upstairs. That stopped, 32 to go in the power play. Strom spins away, back up top, Powell. Jurich, Jurich, glove save made by McClendon on Tyler Jurich with 21 seconds to go on the power play and 8.37 left in the second. We'll step aside. Danbury, a 2-1 lead. We're back to Binghamton right after this on your home for Black Bears hockey. Fox Sports 14.30 Binghamton. The area's premier fitness facility, Fort Jester Athletic Club, is excited to be open and ready to serve you during your next workout. Join in the new and improved gym experience with fitness and safety top of mind. Updated cleaning and sanitation procedures will help keep you healthy and ready to keep pushing. Plus, utilize the newly renovated and remodeled equipment and exercise spaces. Reach your goals and escape your limits at Fort Jester Athletic Club. A one-stop fitness experience. Now back to more Black Bear. Hockey on Fox Sports 1430. Eight minutes, 32 seconds left to go. Second period, 2 1 lead for. Danbury, Binghamton trying to get it back here. In the final 10 seconds of the Big E Tire power play, that will not happen. Instead, it's a shorthanded two-on-one rush. Pass to the left side, Zachary Lazaro, one hopped over his stick. Binghamton out shooting, and now Ivashkin left wall. And a big save by McClendon, gloved down by Matthew Boilard. Boilar to Ivashkin. He pinned below the goal line was Easton Oliver by Josh Newberg. Good play by Owen Liskowitz. And Corey Sherman lifts the puck up to the blue line. Kyle Powell turns. Finds Matthew Ballar. He cannot clear. 
The low shot, stick save made by Liskowitz. Boilar will go off the glass. This time the puck comes out of the zone. 7-16 left to go, second period. It's a 2-1 lead for Danbury. Rob Lapolis with you from Binghamton inside the Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. On the breakout, Boilar. Boilar right side. Vanderweel. Vanderweel deflected just wide of the net. Charles Andre Sipion hit hard. He gets right back up. Pikarski. Six minutes, 40 seconds to go. Second period. Danbury has a 2-1 lead. Pass out of the reach of Becker. Becker. Now Gavin Abbott. Abbott drops it back for Sipiot. Sipiot. Vanderweel the shot. And McClendon deflects it up and out of play with 6.22 to go in period number two. If you're looking for a new type of physical therapy, check out CryoWorks. Give them a try. Specializing in cold therapy, your body will start healing in minutes. Visit CryoWorks on Washington Street in Binghamton. Puck up the right wing side. 6.15 left to go, second period. Binghamton down 2-1. to one. Right behind the net, waiting and looking at options is Easton Oliver playing in his 10th game of the season. Oliver, the righty, is going to take the puck inside his own left wing circle, coughs it up, and played right back in the offensive zone by Binghamton's Colin Fitzgerald. Corey Sherman a hit. Sherman another hit on Easton Oliver. Breakout pass to center ice. Cody, or check that out, Kodiak White duck. John Stefanson with 5.36 left to go in the second period. Shot fanned on. Pass ahead. Gavin Yates, two on one. Jurich. Yates shoots. Another glove save by McClendon. The Black Bears have been trying to go glove side on Frankie McClendon all game long, and he's got that thing dialed in. It was a two-on-one. Yates with Jurich. Good play defensively to drop down to the stomach. And another great save by Frankie McClendon between the pipes for the hat tricks. Tyler Pikarski through center. Johnny Ruiz knocks it away from him. Ivashkin around the defense. Takes the puck behind the net. Ivashkin lost it. Emil Strom. Josh Newberg up top to Pikarski. Pikarski kept the shot low, goes off a skate. Taken by Strom. Back to Pikarski. And the linesman didn't see it. That might have come out of the zone. The linesman on the far side of the ice was blocked, though, by players. From the left point, blast. That's knocked down. Black Bears got to hustle to get back. Pikarski, now Levac. Takes a puck from Johnny Ruiz. Levac, back to Ruiz. Low shot and a save by Liskowitz. We'll take a break. 427 left to go in the second period. Binghamton trailing Danbury 2-1. to one. Back right after this on your home for Black Bears hockey. Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. Rolando's Diner is now open. Rolando's Diner, a 50-year tradition in Binghamton, is now open. They are still located in the same place, 140 Court Street, and they still have the same great menu and same great prices. Daily and weekly specials available. They missed you and can't wait to see all of their happy customers again. Rolando's Diner, eat in or take out. Open 7 a.m. until 3 p.m. daily. Call 607-723-9058 for takeout. See you soon. Now back to more Black Bears hockey on Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. 427 left to go in the second period. Binghamton down two to one. 
Black Bears have live online auctions happening throughout the season. Just head to BinghamtonBlackBears.com or download the Live Source app on your mobile device. Just finished up the auction for the Lupo Speedy jerseys. And we'll see what we throw up there next. We'll be sure to let you know, though. 4.06 to go in the second. Binghamton down 2-1 to one here inside the Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. Cross ice pass. Ooh, nice move at center. Around Linder, we have a shot, and that's off the glove of Liskowitz, Tyler Becker. Actually, that was Gavin Abbott. Giveaway, left pad save made by Liskowitz. Becker is back to try to help out. And now the Black Bears the other way. Gavin Abbott struggling to get back to the bench. He was injured on the play. Powell, Gavin Yates. Puck up for grabs. Now into the skates of Kodiak White Duck. White Duck ahead. Stefanson couldn't get there in time. Matthew Boilar finds Kyle Powell. Powell to Sherman. Jurich gloved it out of the air, but then lost the puck. Quickly right back to center, Kodiak White Duck. But he lost the puck. John Stefanson, he gives it away. And now Sherman gives it away. This turnover after turnover here the past 20 seconds. 2.43 to go in the second period. Danbury still a 2-1 lead. Binghamton out shooting Danbury, though, 22-18. Gavin Yates. Offensive zone. Yates tried to get around the defense. Could not. John McDonald, good play. Stepping up was Eric Organizov, three on one. Levac, good job by Tyler Jurich on the back check. Jurich into the skates, looking to go five hole. Saved by McClendon, the rebound was a little bit too far away from him. Levac quickly the other way. Johnny Ruiz shot off his skate wide into the corner under two minutes to go in the second. Binghamton still down two to one. What a pass. Ruiz trying to get back. Save made by Liskowitz. Black Bears trying to get the puck out of the zone and now a penalty on Binghamton. A hooking call on Emil Strong. Liskowitz kept that out with the right leg pad. 139 left to go in the second. Referees are going to get together. That was a quick play. Either way, the Black Bears are down a skater. Next broadcast coming up Thursday against Danbury. We want to see you here, but if you can't make it, tune in beginning at 6.45 with the Endwell Rug pregame show. The puck drop is at 7. Binghamton and Danbury coming up Thursday night. Tune in right here on Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. So. Face off in the defensive zone. Someone's got to serve the penalty. No one has come over. Both the penalty box doors have closed. I don't think. So Gavin Abbott reluctantly makes his way to the penalty box. Well, they got the wrong guy. Abbott's got a point. Wasn't him, but it was a tripping call. Johnny Ruiz 
Top of the penalty, 18-21. Abbott, two minutes for hooking. Top of the penalty, 18-21. Black Bears. Owen Liskowitz, good save early on here on this Trivium packaging penalty kill. Colin Fitzgerald. Dumps the puck in on net. Save made by McClendon. 104 left to go, period number two. Stay with us, Excite Motorsports. Second period intermission report coming up. Behind the net, Garrett Gallagher. Now below the goal line, Gordy Bennell. Levat to Bennell. Bennell to the right point, now to the center point for John McDonald. Johnny Ruiz in front of the net for Gordy Bennell. Bennell gets it back. Right point again, Garrett Gallagher. Bennell, one-timer, missed the net. 30 seconds left. McDonald, right side, Gallagher. Top of the circle, back to McDonald. Left side, shoulder fake shot. Blocker pad save made. Newberg tries to clear, kept in, but Colin Fitzgerald gets in the way of the cross ice pass, and the puck deflects to center. 10 seconds to go in period two. Ahead, McClario. Johnny Ruiz, three seconds to go. That'll do it for 40 minutes of play here inside the Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. Binghamton unable to score in that second period. And it is all Danbury right now after two periods. Stay with us, Excite Motorsports second period intermission show is coming right up. We'll have highlights brought to you by the Binghamton Hockey Booster Club, out of town scoreboard, presented by John Paul in State Farm and a full stats recap of the first two periods. Through 40 minutes, Danbury two, Binghamton one on your home for Black Bears Hockey, Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. Are you looking to get your hands on game-worn autographed jerseys? You're in luck. Black Bears fans can now bid live it's online for game-worn jerseys. Just head to BinghamtonBlackBears.com and click Live Online Auctions on the homepage. You can even download the Live Source mobile app on any device so you never miss a chance to place a bid. Live Online Auctions are going on now. Download the Live Source mobile app or visit BinghamtonBlackBears.com. New team, new website. Check out the all-new Binghamton Black Bears website, BinghamtonBlackBears.com. See all of the Black Bears' upcoming promotions, the latest news on your Black Bears. Check out up-to-the-second standings and stats and save money with special offers. You can even listen to every broadcast and see what's been happening on their social media. Be sure to follow the Black Bears on social media as well. Stay up-to-date with everything Black Bears at www.BinghamtonBlackBears.com. New hockey team in town means all new gear. Dress like the Black Bears and go online to blackbearshop.com. The all new blackbearshop.com has t-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, jerseys, and so much more. Do you want a custom jersey with your name and number? We can do that too. Stop by the merchandise stand at all Black Bears home games or even come by the front office during office hours. Show your Binghamton hockey pride by visiting blackbearshop.com. Join thousands of Binghamton hockey fans and give us a follow on social media. Like our Facebook page, facebook.com slash BlackBearsFPHL. And give us a follow on Twitter and Instagram at BlackBearsFPHL. Get up to the second team news information, participate in contests, and get live game updates at home or on the road. Get interactive and say hello. Hit that follow button and give the new team some love. That's at BlackBearsFPHL on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Two periods are complete. It's time for the Excite Motorsports Intermission Report. A recap of the first two periods, interviews, highlights, out-of-town scores, and more. Back up to the Planet Fitness broadcast booth for the Excite Motorsports Intermission Report. 20 minutes to go here inside the Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. Rob Lapole is with you. Time for the Excite Motorsports second period intermission show. Excite Motorsports, browse, ride, buy. Free next day delivery to 
New York and PA. Visit them online at excitemotorsports.com. Stat recap from the first 40 minutes. Binghamton trailing two to one, but out shooting Danbury in that second period, 15 to 11. That's a total of 24 shots for the Black Bears and a total of 20 shots for Danbury. The only goal of the second period off the stick of Gordy Bunnell, Johnny Ruiz gets the assist on the play. And that came 5-14 into the second. And again, that was the only goal of the second period. And that is why Danbury has a 2-1 lead with one period to go. Nikita Ivashkin got the scoring going. 8.58 into regulation to give Binghamton a 1-0 lead. Then, Nikola Lavac from Johnny Ruiz and Bryce French with one minute to go in period number one. That tied the game at one. We go to the second. Gordy Bennell from Ruiz, 5-14 into period two. Great goal, 2-1 lead for Dan Barry. And they held the Black Bears off the board in that second period. Penalties in the second, two for each side. Garrett Gallagher went off for interference, 30 seconds into the second. And then Gavin Yates at the 6.25 mark, two-minute minor for slashing. Gallagher again at 9.43, this time for tripping. And then Gavin Abbott, now they got the wrong guy, but it was a penalty, but instead uh, they put Gavin Abbott in the box. So 18-21 of the second period, that's when that happened. And Danbury, again, with that one goal lead after two periods. We're going to take a timeout when we return. We'll kick off the next segment with the highlights presented by the Binghamton Hockey Booster Club. Stay with us. Back with more of the Excite Motorsports Intermission Show right after this on your home for Black Bears Hockey. Fox Sports, 1430 Binghamton. Check out a Binghamton Black Bears game like you've never seen before with a Skybox night or group night. You can even watch warm-ups from the Black Bears bench with your friends, high-five the players as they take the ice, and so much more. Or watch the game in style in a Skybox and check out a new and improved food and drink menu. Call the Black Bears at 607-722-7367 and begin your group or Skybox experience. When a hockey team ends up with six skaters and a goalie on the ice, it means somebody forgot to double check. And when you end up paying more for car insurance than you need to, it could also mean somebody forgot to double check. That's why State Farm will do a free discount double check by going through your policies to make sure you're getting all the discounts you deserve. Because those discounts could mean big league savings. It pays to double check. Call State Farm agent John Paulin in Johnson City today at 607-798-7191. Get access to exclusive player events, monthly parties, and road trips to away Black Bears games. This is what you get when you become a member of the Binghamton Black Bears Booster Club. Stop by the Booster Club table behind Section 4 at the next Black Bears home game, pick up a 50-50 ticket, and sign up to join for just $10. Stay up to date on the Booster Club by liking their Facebook page, facebook.com slash Binghamton Black Bears Booster Club. Monthly meetings with players, road trips, and a whole lot of fun when you join the Black Bears Booster Club. Be the first to get all the latest Binghamton Black Bears news, special exclusive offers, and stay up to date on upcoming games by signing up to join the Binghamton Black Bears email club. Just head to BinghamtonBlackBears.com and sign up today. You'll receive team-related news delivered right to your inbox. Keep an eye out for special exclusive offers only available to email club members. It's the Binghamton Black Bears email club. Sign up and start saving money today. Now back to more of the Excite Motorsports Intermission Show on Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. Back inside the Visions Veterans Memorial Arena in Binghamton, Rob Lapolis with you. Time for the highlights of the first 40 minutes of play. Let me take you back early in period one, Akita Ivashkin. His 35th goal of the season gave the Black Bears a 1-0 lead. Colin Fitzgerald into the offensive zone, battles with Easton Oliver, taking the puck away is Brett Jackson. Now Ivashkin. 
Ivashkin, good cut. Left wing circle. Ivashkin. And he scores. Nikita Ivashkin took on about four guys and gets the puck into the net. One-nothing Black Bears with 11.02 left to go. So Bingham 10 a one nothing lead at that point. And then Danbury needed some big stops from Frankie McClendon. They got this one on Nikita Ivashkin. Heavy pressure on the four check by Danbury right now. Newberg though finds Becker. Tyler Becker. Right side bomb by Ivashkin and a nice glove save by Frankie McClendon with eight minutes left to go in period number one. So the Black Bears still with a one nothing lead after that big save by Frankie McClendon. And then with one minute to go in period one, Danbury tied the game. Good stick by Kyle Powell. And the Black Bears cannot get the puck out. Kept in, left side, shot, stick save, they score. The original save made by Leskowitz, but Levac right there to put it home. His eighth of the season ties the game at one with one minute left to go in period one. So the Black Bears tied up at one at that point. They went into the intermission even at one goal apiece. We go to the second. Danbury would score to take a two to one lead. And then Frankie McClendon, again, big save. Side of the net, Jurich trying to go upstairs. That stopped, 32 to go in the power play. Strom spins away, back up top, Powell. Jurich, Jurich, glove save made by McClendon on Tyler Jurich with 21 seconds to go in the power play and 8.37 left in the second. So the Black Bears still Running into a hot netminder at that point, still trailing two to one, and then they would have another chance. This time, Gavin Yates, two on one opportunity with Tyler Jurich. German, another hit on Easton Oliver. Breakout pass to center ice. Cody, or check that out, Kodiak White Duck. John Stefanson with 5.36 left to go in the second period. Shot fanned on. Pass ahead, Gavin Yates, two on one, Jurich. Yates shoots. Another glove save by McClendon. So the, another big time save by Frankie McClendon. And after 40 minutes, it's the Black Bears trailing Danbury two to one. The highlights presented by the Binghamton Hockey Booster Club. Visit the Booster Club. Join them behind section four at the next Black Bears home game. We'll take a break on the Excite Motorsports second period intermission report when we return out of town scores right after this on your home for Black Bears hockey, Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. Hi folks, Irwin Coe Sr. here from Big E Tire. It's our buy three, get one absolutely free sale. Oh, I know what you're saying. Wow, another tire sale. No, there's more. Listen, now when you buy three tires from Big E, you will get one tire absolutely free with free mounting, free lifetime balancing, free rotations, free 90-day road hazard warranty, free alignment check, free 30-day ride guarantee. Yeah, it's good because the other guys charge you for everything. At Big E, everything is free. Interest-free financing for up to 12 months and the fastest air-free alignments in the North East. So call for details or just stop in. And thanks for the business. For cars and trucks and tractors too. Everything's right, so right for you. Best all around our Big E Tire and Auto Center. Big E Tire. I love those guys. Get moving today with the Planet Fitness Black Card and check out all the perks. Like access to over 2,000 locations. Bring a guest anytime. Plus massage chairs and so much more. With tons of space in our super clean clubs. Your fitness is essential. Get all the perks with the PF Black Card.
Commitment may apply. See club for details. The Binghamton Black Bears are hitting the ice this season at Visions Federal Credit Union, Veterans Memorial Arena, and we want you to see all the hard hit action of Black Bears hockey all season long. That's why Visions members can get tickets to every home game this season. It's one of the many reasons to join the Visions family today. To get your member discount and see the Black Bears in action, visit visionsfcu.org slash events. Visions Federal Credit Union, federally insured by NCUA. Now back to more of the Excite Motorsports Intermission Show on Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. Back inside Visions Veterans Memorial Arena as we get you set for third period action. Take a look at the out-of-town scoreboard brought to you by John Paulin State Farm. Two other games going on in the FPHL. Tied it to down in Columbus. Carolina and Columbus knotted up two apiece. 11.05 into the second period down at the Civic Center and out in Port Huron. The Black Bears will be visiting there shortly. No score between the Prowlers and the Delaware Thunder. That is a look at the out-of-town scoreboard in the FPHL. Taking a look at some games in the NHL tonight. Canadians trailing the Avalanche 2-0. 5-11 to go in the second. Colorado already with 32 shots on net. Devils a 5-4 lead over the Hurricanes. End of two periods of play. Rangers have come back to take a 5-3 lead over the Coyotes after 40. Senators leading the Capitals 2-0 on the road late in period two. Maple Leafs a 3-1 lead over the New York Islanders. 158 left to go in the second there. Detroit and Nashville no score. Later tonight, the Blackhawks visit the Wild. The Flames visit the Oilers. Sharks host the Lightning. And earlier today, the Sabres defeating the Flyers. Flyers 6-3, and Bruins defeating the Jets 3-2. In the NFL, the Cincinnati Bengals defeating the Tennessee Titans in the AFC Divisional Round 19-16. A late interception set up the game-winning field goal for the Bengals. They scored just three points in the fourth quarter. That was all they needed. The Packers a 7-0 lead over the San Francisco 49ers. 2.58 left to go there in the first quarter. That is a look at the out-of-town scoreboard presented by John Paulin State Farm. Visit them online at paulininsurance.com or call 607-798-7191. That's going to do it for the Excite Motorsports second period intermission show. We'll take a break. Third period coming up next. You're listening to Black Bears Hockey on Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. In. Getting your hands on an all-new CF Moto side-by-side or four-wheeler is now easier than ever at ExciteMotorsports.com. Purchase your next power sports vehicle with our new, easy, and quick online buying experience. Browse inventory on ExciteMotorsports.com. Buy. Get approved for financing and e-sign online right from your phone. Ride. Have your new power sport vehicle delivered to your home the next day at no extra charge. Browse. Buy. Ride. Fun starts here at Excite. Motorsports.com. CryoWorks helps you with cold therapy, just like the ice the Black Bears skate on. CryoWorks uses freezing temperatures to create a healing process. In just minutes, cryotherapy helps reduce inflammation, improves muscle tissue recovery, and boosts your immune system. CryoWorks uses three different forms of therapy, whole body, local, and cryofacial. The Black Bears players trust CryoWorks, and so should you. Visit them at 26 South Washington Street, Binghamton, 607-269-5392. CryoWorks. Wellness without medicine. Hard-hitting action of Black Bears hockey returns home this Thursday against Danbury and Friday against Delaware. Thursday is the Black Bears career fair. From 3 to 5.30 at Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. Snacks included and over 30 businesses. And you get a free ticket when you submit your resume. Then Friday, the Black Bears battle the Delaware Thunder. Two home games next Thursday and Friday. Get your tickets at BinghamtonBlackBears.com. 
EBE CMS Imaging Solutions is the official printer provider of the Binghamton Black Bears. For over 40 years, they've been serving businesses around the southern tier. Locally owned and operated, EBE CMS Imaging Solutions has a full line of authorized Canon, Sharp, and Kyocera products. With multi-function printers, copiers, and fax machines, they'll help you determine which product is best for your needs, and their staff provides fast and efficient service. EBE CMS Imaging Solutions, 607-723-0000. Now back to more Black Bears hockey on Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. Back inside Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. Getting you set for period number three. Binghamton down two to one. And they come back here in period three. Binghamton going right to left. Danbury going left to right. The hat tricks with the one goal lead. The puck is down and we are underway here in the third. Tyler Pikarski up the left wall. And dished it down low. Seven seconds to go. In the trivia packaging penalty kill of Ack in front of the net. Good opportunity, Johnny Ruiz. Shoulder save, Liskowitz. Turnover. Emil Strom. Strom behind the net. Hit into the wall. On the end boards. Gets the puck and then held in. Sherman, he shoots. Blocked by Johnny Ruiz. Gordy Bennell off the glass. Powell's got to get back. Powell pins his man up against the boards on the far side of the ice. 55 seconds gone, period three. Tyler Becker, right side for Powell. Now to Gavin Yates. Yates lost it. Sherman gets it back. Sherman. Now Tyler Jurich. Kuznetsov. Gave it away, Sherman. Sherman gave the puck right back to Easton Oliver. And then Oliver loses it to Yates. To Jurich behind the net. Jurich toe drag to the front. Kept in at the point. Puck free. Jurich trying to get to it. Toe drags, lost it. Binghamton's got to get back. Powell takes over inside the center ice circle. Powell to Becker. Becker fires all the way in. Newberg hit up against the left wall. Long pass to center ice, Zachary Lazaro. And now Newberg offensive territory. Newberg gets inside the blue line, clears the puck all the way down low. 17.55 left to go. Third period. Live in Bingham to Danbury with a 2-1 lead. Rob Lapolis, thanks for joining us. Long wrister. Glove save, Liskowitz. With 17 minutes and 44 seconds left to go. Face off in the Black Bears defensive zone. Matthew Boilard lost the puck. That is up in the air, actually, on the peg. The peg is holding the net up. Meanwhile, Nikita Ivashkin back the other way. Blast! That might have scraped some iron. His stick comes up. Newberg was going down to the ice, and that's a really tough break. Newberg was going down to the ice. His stick got up. And it'll be another penalty on Binghamton with 17-12 left to go in the third. Face off all the way back inside the Black Bears defensive end. You see Newberg, if you're watching on YouTube, Newberg going down to the ice, stick got away from him. And a high stick. Big moment here.
Tyler Pikarski. Penalty to number 14, Clears. Josh Newberg. Two minutes for high sticking, top of the penalty, 248. That's Newberg. Two minutes for high sticking, top of the penalty, 248. Black Bears able to clear to get the Trivium packaging penalty kill started. And a penalty coming up on Danbury. What happened here? Gordy Bennell going to go back to the box. I did not see this. That caught the shoulder of Colin Fitzgerald. And they will call slashing. So four on four for a minute 33. And then the Black Bears will have a 27 second Big E tire power play. Sherman, D'Angelo, Powell, and Becker up top. Powell fires partially blocked wide of the net. Kept in by Becker. Becker down low for Sherman. And Sherman lost it at center. His net's off, right side, shot off the outside of the net. Powell picks up the puck left side. D'Angelo to Becker. Becker going to the net, shot deflected up and over the crossbar. Powell tries to get over to it. Backhands across the ice to an open Becker. Becker over the blue line, offensive zone. Tyler Becker dodges a check, finds Gavin Yates, bottom of the left circle. Yates behind the net, looking for Powell. Couldn't get the shot away. Powell has the puck right on the goal line and then lost it. Powell's got to get back out through center, cleared all the way down the ice on net, so no icing. Tyler Jurich, long pass for Becker. He had to stop, so Danbury able to easily catch up and take possession back. 15 seconds left in the four-on-four, four, two on one the other way, and a great block. Now the Black Bears got to try to get back. Levac. Toe drag. The shot is knocked down by Kyle Powell. Powell, long feed for Yates. Newberg out of the box. Gavin Yates, short side, shoulder save by Frankie McClendon. 17 seconds now left to go in the Big E tire power play. Johnny Ruiz gets the return pass, fans on it. Here comes Tyler Jurich. Jurich with Strom, he feeds Yates. Over to Strom, couldn't get the shot away now. Newberg shoots, save made, still free score. wing circle Newberg 14 minutes 26 seconds left to go in regulation scored by number 22 Tyler Jurich assisted by number 14 Josh Newberg and by number 16 Emil Storm, Strom. Well, Jurich with the goal. 13.50 to go, third period. 2 2 score. So Tyler Jurich has tied the game at two. Bottom of the right wing circle, Gino D'Angelo. Kuznetsov. 
Kuznetsov to the blue line. Winds, fires in deep, puck wraps around all the way up. And back out to the neutral zone. 13 minutes, 12 seconds left to go, third period. Danny Vanderweel down the right side, has the puck on his backhand. Vanderweel wraps it around, blocked inside the crease, cleared all the way down the ice. Pekarski's got a hustle. Will this be an icing? It will. Levac racing him back, and Pekarski just wins it. We'll step aside. 12 minutes, 57 seconds left to go in the third. Black Bears two, Danbury hat tricks two on your home for Black Bears hockey. Fox Sports, 1430 Binghamton. The area's premier fitness facility, Fort Jester Athletic Club, is excited to be open and ready to serve you during your next workout. Join in the new and improved gym experience with fitness and safety top of mind. Updated cleaning and sanitation procedures will help keep you healthy and ready to keep pushing. Plus, utilize the newly renovated and remodeled equipment and exercise spaces. Reach your goals and escape your limits at Fort Jester Athletic Club, a one-stop fitness experience. Now back to more Black Bears Hockey. On Fox Sports 1430, Big Back inside Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. Black Bears have tied it up. At two apiece. Tyler Jurich, the game-tying goal. Jurich, left wall. Shot, bottom of the left circle. Jurich almost snuck it in on the left side. And a whistle, 12.36 left to go, period three. Third period presented, as always, by American Standard Heating and Air Conditioning. Don't settle for less. Ask American Standard Heating and Air Conditioning, built to a higher standard. What do we have there? Looks like a little. Well, the whistle blew before the puck was stopped. Nonetheless, 12.32 to go in the third period. Tied it to shots are 30 to 25, Binghamton. Matthew Ballar, now Sherman with a Ric Flair woozer all over the place here tonight. Gordy Bennell down the left wing side, tries to drag the puck around Tyler Pekarski. Black Bears can't clear. Left side, shot scores. They let Danbury walk it all the way in, fed over to LeVac and his one-timer has given the hat tricks the lead three to two with 12 left to go in the third. So the Black Bears, after scoring, this happens. As Binghamton will score and then surrender a goal right after that. Time of the goal, 7.51. We're back for McDonald, top of the goal, 751. Nikita Ivashkin, top of the right wing circle, drops it back, the shot, and then Ivashkin is dumped on the far boards. He's down, Powell comes in. Now Newberg comes in. And Newberg wants to fight, no one does. Powell came over to have a friendly conversation. Ivashkin is down. He has taken a beating here in these past couple of games. And the Black Bears converged, and nothing will come of it. Ivashkin slowly makes his way back to the Black Bears bench. As 
Gordy Bennell going to sit in the box, slashing the call. 11 minutes, 41 seconds to go in the third period. to the net, save made left leg pad, Powell to D'Angelo, to Powell, below the goal line, Emil Strom, Strom left boards to Jurich, Jurich wanted D'Angelo to deflect it in front of the net. Powell just inside the blue line, bottom of the right wing circle for Gavin Yates, Yates give and go, Yates, D'Angelo through the top of the crease, Jurich, to battle for the puck right along the wall and held in by Powell over to Gavin Yates. 117 to go in the Big E tire power play. D'Angelo for Jurich through his legs. Gavin Yates. Now Emil Strom. Black Bears gave up the puck and cleared by Johnny Ruiz. 10.40 to go, third period. Strom hit down to the ice. Kyle Powell. Powell to Ivashkin. Ivashkin. Gino D'Angelo. D'Angelo to Gavin Yates. Yates, bottom of the circle. Wraparound attempt. Wouldn't go. And now the puck comes out of the zone. 34 seconds to go in the power play. Binghamton down 3-2. Dan Barry with a shortened lineup here on the road. But they have the lead. Ivashkin, bottom of the right circle, breaks, shoots, missed the net, and then he's hammered on the side of the crease. Inside the bottom of the right wing circle, that's going to be another penalty. Black Bears shot by Powell. He gets it back. Powell now to the front of the net, still free, jamming away at the loose puck that's behind the net. Ivashkin still has it. He's hit. Now Newberg to the right point. Powell. Jurich partially blocked. Score! Sherman. 9.22 to go in the third period. Nikita Ivashkin. Scored by number 21, Corey Sherman. Assisted by number 22, Tyler Jurich, and by number 27, Kyle Powell. Time of the goal, 10.34. Sherman from Church and Powell, top of the goal, 10 34. 9.03 to go, third period. We'll step aside. Tie, game at three. Don't go anywhere. Back with more right after this on your home for Black Bears hockey, Fox Sports, 1430 Binghamton. The Homer Men and Boys Store, a family-owned business providing clothing and footwear for the entire family since 1951. Located just 40 minutes north on Route 81 in the beautiful village of Homer, the Homer Men and Boys Store carries a huge inventory of name brand products at discounted prices like Carhartt, Red Wing, Carolina, Levi's, Columbia, North Face, Timberland, and many more. We carry all sizes from size 3 months up to 5X. We treat our customers like members of our family. If we don't have it, you don't need it. The Homer Men and Boys Store, located 40 miles north on Route 81. Take exit 12 and follow the signs to Homer or see us on the web at homermensandboys.com. Now back to more Black Bears hockey on Fox Sports 1430, Binghamton. Back inside. Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. The Black Bears hanging around. 
Sherman has tied the game up. 8.55 left to go in the third. Well back. Left circle. No one covering in front of the net. And luckily the save was made by Liskowitz. Oh my. Levesque tried to step up on Vanderweel. And now the puck goes in, but the whistle blew. And now a dust up after the play as everyone milling around the stick is broken so is this a penalty for playing with a broken stick i think that's what the call is playing the puck with a broken stick to get the call. Corey Sherman has tied this game. And this is coming down to the wire. Levesque, two minutes for equipment violation, illegal stick. Time of the penalty, 11.28. Levesque, two minutes for a illegal stick. Time of the penalty, 11.28. So that's what we thought. The stick of Levesque broke. He then played the puck, and it went in. But they blew it dead. Yates, and a right leg pad save. Down low, Gino D'Angelo lets the puck go to Strom. Strom, wraparound chance by D'Angelo. Strom pushed down to the ice. Now D'Angelo, back to Emil Strom. Up to Jurich, Powell center point. 8.04 to go, third period, tied at three. Jurich shoots, blocked right in front of him. Strom pushed down to the ice. Powell now gets it back. Kyle Powell, right side, blast by Yates. That's blocked. Gavin Yates just inside the blue line. Yates holds. Lux shoots. Save made. And a whistle is 7.43 to go in the third period. Emil Strom was hit hard below the goal line. Got right back up, though. A minute 11 to go in the Big E title. Up to the point, Jurich fires, puck still free, bottom of the left circle, D'Angelo sends it off the outside of the net. Back up to Jurich, 60 seconds left in the power play, tied at three, third period. D'Angelo, right side, Yates, back to D'Angelo. Tries to wrap it in, pad save, the rebound went through Jurich. Powell skates right, still has it. Kyle Powell below the goal line, Powell, Jurich wide of the net, puck free, kicked into the corner and cleared out to center ice. 36 seconds to go in the Big E tire power play, long pass, lost it. Black Bears trying to get possession back, they do. Ivashkin, he's gonna get speed, loses it right at the blue line to Kuznetsov. And now Gino D'Angelo. Liskowitz leaves the puck for Powell to keep the play going. And now Ivashkin gave it away. Left circle, save made. Wraparound attempt, not there. Emil Strom, five to go in the power play. Strom, offensive zone, Rister, save McClendon. Backhanded up top, Becker's gotta get rid of it quick, does, still free, puck jammed at, and McClendon hangs on for a whistle with 6.24 to go in the third. is buzzing tonight. Great game. Now 
some fans trying to have some fun in the front row. Security comes down to eliminate the fun. Having a good time, though, in here tonight. Near side, Levesque out through center ice. Josh Newberg gives the puck up for Levesque. Six minutes, nine seconds left to go. Third period, tied at three. Left side. Low shot blocked by Newberg. Newberg for Ivashkin. Boy, almost sprung him on the breakaway. Five minutes, 47 seconds left to go. Third period, icing coming up. Pekarski back for the touch-up. Sign up now to receive special offers, news, and see what's coming up at Black Bears home games by joining the email club. Just head to BinghamtonBlackBears.com and click Join the Email Club to sign up. Settled, ready to go. Sherman, Jurich, Yates up front, Powell and Becker. Breakout pass, now to the center ice line. Brett Jackson plays the puck on net. off inside the Black Bears defensive zone. So Binghamton tie game. Pass comes up for Gavin Yates. Yates lost it at center. Penalties coming up as he's down at Sherman. The Black Bears are going to have a, pe a power play. Got to stay cool here. If you're Binghamton, Tyler Becker turns around, skates away. And it looks like it's going to be a Biggie Tire power play with 5.16 left to go in the third period. the penalty box. That's going to be Zachary Lazaro. Five minutes, 16 seconds left to go. <laughs> left side, left point, Jurich. Shot, padded away. Down low to D'Angelo. And cleared the length of the ice. 4.56 left to go, third period, tied at three. Big E tire power play for the next minute, 35. Gino D'Angelo down the left wing side. D'Angelo back for Jurich. Jurich right point now. D'Angelo works it up. Jarich fires in a right skate save made by Frankie McClendon. 4.32 to go in the third. Jurich, Jurich in and out of the glove of McClendon. And Danbury will send the puck off the glass. They got to hustle back. Emil Strom, Johnny Ruiz, shorthanded. Ruiz scores. Oh, my goodness. A shorthanded goal. can't happen. If you're Binghamton in a tie game, you cough up a shorthanded goal. Play number 
19, Johnny Ruiz, assisted by number nine, Gordy Bunnell. Time of the goal, 15-12. Now Binghamton, can they make up for it? Powell keeps the puck inside the zone. Powell in front for Jurich. McClendon, another huge save. Frankie McClendon, the reason that Danbury has the lead right now. He's been fantastic. We'll take a break. 3.59 left to go in the third. The Black Bears have given up a shorthanded goal and trail 4-3. Back right after this on your home for Black Bears hockey. Fox Sports, 14.30, Binghamton. Get access to exclusive player events, monthly parties, and road trips to away Black Bears games. This is what you get when you become a member of the Binghamton Black Bears Booster Club. Stop by the Booster Club table behind Section 4 at the next Black Bears home game, pick up a 50-50 ticket, and sign up to join for just $10. Stay up to date on the Booster Club by liking their Facebook page, facebook.com slash Binghamton Black Bears Booster Club. Monthly meetings with players, road trips, and a whole lot of fun when you join the Black Bears Booster Club. Now back to more Black Bears hockey on Fox Sports 1430, Binghamton. 3.59 left to go, third period. The Black Bears, just when you think they have a chance to take the lead on the power play. No, Dan Barry, a shorthanded goal to take the lead late in the third. Now the Black Bears just hope to tie the game on the power play. Jurich left side for Newberg. Newberg back up to Jurich and over to Powell. Powell, give and go, gets it back now to Ivashkin. Ivashkin, Newberg, the shot, he scores! Rister on net, it goes top shelf through traffic. Three minutes, 41 seconds left to go. In period number three, a power play goal. Can the Black Bears Finish this one off. It's tied at four. Pikarski. Number eight, Nikita Ivashkin. Sister by number 27, Kyle Powell. Number 14, Josh Newberg. Time of the goal, 16-19. That is Ivashkin from Powell and Newberg. A power play goal and a Burger King. Sherman, Sherman back for Jurich. And now the Black Bears got to get back. Powell is stepping up at center ice. Now would have been a two on one, but icing instead. Three minutes, two seconds left to go, third period. Stay with us for the La Quinta in and Sweets post game show, whenever that might be. Knocked down at the blue line. Kyle Powell trying to get back. Powell off the glass to center ice for Jurich. Jurich connects with Sherman, and then that's offside. A little bit late on the play, getting into the zone. Jurich didn't think the puck was going to come to him, but it did. He'll drop the puck in the neutral zone on the far side of the ice. 2.42 left to go, third period, tied at four. Shot in front, save made, puck way up in the air. Frankie McClendon back 
back-to-back -back saves with 2.35 to go in the third period to keep the game tied at four. Now Johnny Ruiz. Ruiz into the right wing circle. Backdoor chance. Wouldn't go. Behind the net. Liskowitz trying to figure out where the puck is. Levac saucer to the point. Shot. And that goes over the crossbar. Cleared up. Out to center. It's Jurich out of the reach of Yates. Yates inside the right wing. Circle. Sticked away through the crease by Frankie McClendon. Under two minutes to go. Third period. Tied at four. Knocked out of the air by Matthew Boilar. Boilar tipped just wide by Jurich. Puck loose below the goal line. Gavin Yates. Yates is there. And now Levac will go across the ice. Tyler Becker, though, fires right back into the offensive zone. 133 to go in the third period. Up the right side for Kuznetsov. Now to Powell. Strom. Strom at the blue line. Good patience. Fires the puck, though, right into the chest of Bryce French. Back for Tyler Becker. Off the glass. Knocked out of the air. High stick waved off because Danbury touched the puck next. Lifted up. Short hop. Tyler Becker. A minute to go. Third period. Tied at four. Ivashkin tangled up. Lost his stick. Vanderweel. Forces the pass up the left wing side by Gallagher. Goes right onto the stick of Tyler Becker. Becker, cross ice, glove down. The shot and a save by Liskowitz with 37 seconds to go in the third. Right through the hash marks. Cleared up by Pikarski to Jurich. Jurich floats one at center. It's up for grabs. Now Gavin Yates, 25 seconds to go. Yates through the crease, kept the shot low. Blalar, glove save by McClendon with 19 seconds to go in the third. The draw. Jurich holds. Now Powell. 12 seconds to go in the third. Gotta watch out. Two on one. The Black Bears trying to get back. Six to go. Left wing circle. Save made by Liskowitz. Hammered up the wall. And we are headed to overtime. Overtime is coming up shortly. We will take a 30 second break. And when we come back, we'll queue up overtime for you. Tied at four right after this on your home for Black Bears hockey. Fox Sports, 1430 Binghamton. It's two pros and a so cup then of the overtime open plays, plays after this. Wow, players are down there more from Yes, sir. Cool. Fans felt the same way as us. Uh, yeah, that, man, that's not the official, dude. That's you running a quarterback draw with no time. Usually I'm deleting them at this point because <laughs> they, they sit in the, in the lineup already. Rarington, Jonas, Haven't Knox, had one of these in a while. Two pros and a cup of joe. Two pros and a cup of joe. Weekday morning, 6 till 9 on Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. We need some extra hockey to decide this one. Time to drop the puck on sudden death overtime. Let's go ringside to the Planet Fitness broadcast booth. With the call of OT, here's Rob Lapolis. Overtime coming up in Binghamton. Three on three, five minutes. out there. Newber 
Hoiberg as well, along with Iloshkin. You think five on five is opened up in this league? Wait till three on three. Newberg, Powell, Ivashkin for Binghamton. Ruiz will take the draw for Danbury. To his left is Gordy Bunnell and Garrett Gallagher at the point. The puck is down over time, underway here inside the Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. Ivashkin down the right side, gonna try to win it early. Ivashkin hit hard. Ivashkin down to the ice. There's bodies everywhere. And now Ivashkin is hurt. Boy, it looked like his head bounced off the ice. On the left side of the crease, Trainer coming out onto the ice. Ivashkin getting up slowly. This was all down in the corner to our left. He cut across and was hit hard. And it looks like there might be blood. 20 seconds into overtime, Ivashkin was trying to win it. He moved across. The hit looked fine, but they just slid hard. And then, ooh, the stick. Wow, Ivashkin was down on the ice and then the stick caught him in the face as he was tripping unintentionally. Boy, that's, that's wild. Could have been like three penalties there, but I like the non-call. 4.35 left to go in overtime, three on three, tied at four in Binghamton. Right at center, stripped away by Gavin Yates. Yates at center. Yates, troll drag. Yates, back and he Gavin Yates. Overtime winner, 5-4, Black Bears. Gavin Yates walks through the hat tricks. Through the legs for the win. What a game! What a crowd, too, here inside the Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. Binghamton, a huge OT win. Back to back wins on the weekend. The goal came with 4.19 left to go in overtime. Gavin Yates, the OT winner, and the Black Bears take this one. Five to four. We'll step aside. The La Quinta Inn and Suites postgame show is coming up right after this on your home for Black Bears hockey. Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. Get moving today with the Planet Fitness Black Card and check out all the perks, like access to over 2,000 locations, bring a guest anytime, plus massage chairs and so much more with tons of space in our super clean clubs. Your fitness is essential. Get all the perks with the PF Black Card. Commitment may apply. See club for details. Since 1939, Inwell Rug has been family owned and operated with one goal in mind, complete customer satisfaction. Inwell Rug offers a full spectrum of the finest quality floor covering products and they are the premier installer at Binghamton University. Inwell Rug was voted the Reader's Choice Award winner for best flooring store in 2019 and in 2020. With two locations in Inwell and Oninata, they're the best floor show in town. Inwell Rug at 607-748 7366. Hard hitting action of Black Bears hockey returns home this Thursday against Danbury and Friday against Delaware. Thursday is the Black Bears career fair from 3 to 5 30 at Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. Snacks included and over. 
130 businesses. And you get a free ticket when you submit your resume. Then Friday, the Black Bears battle the Delaware Thunder. Two home games next Thursday and Friday. Get your tickets at BinghamtonBlackBears.com. Getting your hands on an all-new CF Moto side-by-side or four-wheeler is now easier than ever at ExciteMotorsports.com. Purchase your next power sports vehicle with our new, easy, and quick online buying experience. Browse inventory on ExciteMotorsports.com. Buy. Get approved for financing and e-sign online right from your phone. Ride. Have your new power sports vehicle delivered to your home the next day at no extra charge. Browse. Buy. Ride. Starts here at ExciteMotorsports.com. Welcome to the Post Game Show. A recap with complete highlights, out-of-town scores, updated standings, three stars of the game, a look ahead at the upcoming matchup, and more. Back to wrap things up. From the Planet Fitness Broadcast booth, here's Rob Lapolis. Welcome back Welcome inside back. the Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. Time for the La Quinta in and sweet post game show as the Black Bears win this one in overtime. First OT win here at home of the season. And uh, that was such an entertaining game back and forth. The crowd got more and more into it as the game went on. And the Black Bears coming away with victory here in Veterans Memorial Arena. Let's get to the highlights of this one. The Black Bears would get things 